Hi everyone, I'm Karen. And I'm Joe. Together we're part of the amazing team here at MarketplaceAmerica.org. Now health insurance may seem complicated, but it's a crucial safeguard against unexpected medical costs. And we're here to help make it simple. Yes, indeed. We're here to guide you, educate you, and help you navigate the world of health insurance with ease. We want you to make the best choices for you and your family's health. Yes, our commitment is to make health insurance understandable, approachable, and tailored to suit your individual needs. So join us as we dive into the ins and outs of health insurance, and remember, we're always here to help you. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for future updates. So let's get started. In this presentation, we'd like to talk to you about the reasons you should use MarketplaceAmerica.org instead of HealthCare.gov. We really want you to make an informed choice. And most people think, well, HealthCare.gov, it's got to be the best place to go. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, it's not. And it's not the only choice out there. Most right. people think it is the only choice. And we want to introduce you to MarketplaceAmerica.org that's actually fully integrated with HealthCare.gov. Yes. And much easier to find the plan you want and to navigate. So, Karen, let's go ahead and roll it out for them. That sounds good. So basically, healthcare.gov and marketplaceamerica.org are two platforms that offer access to the same health insurance plans and the same prices across all 50 states. That's right, all 50 states, the right. exact same plans, exact same prices, but you've got to be able to identify the one that suits your family's health needs and your health needs. That's right. Okay, so. So understanding the differences between those platforms is going to help you find the most suitable health coverage with less hassle. Absolutely. In other words, I like to find what I'm looking for when I'm mm -hmm. looking for it because I've only got so much time in a day, Karen. Exactly. <laughs> And as of 2023, health insurance enrollment is becoming increasingly digital, and that's emphasizing the importance of these user-friendly platforms. I know. It's unbelievable. It's kind of like going to Amazon and buying something on mm -hmm. Amazon. Well, you can go out onto one of these platforms, right. and you can buy health insurance just like you're buying something at Amazon. It's, right. it's that easy. So let's talk about five reasons to use Marketplace America instead of healthcare.gov. And Karen, these are really our top five reasons. That's we can probably right. come up with eight yes, if easily. we go back and look at it pretty easily. So Karen, what's the first one? Well, it's easier to shop without creating an account. Marketplace America is going to allow you to browse plans without creating your account and putting in your personal information. Just going to streamline your shopping experience. Absolutely. Every time I go look at healthcare.gov, I think they're going to have made it better. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be able to do something without starting an account. Yep. And logically, where you pit, select to go, it wants you to create that account. Right. So it's, it's kind of crazy that they've made it that difficult. And the affordability and features, it's easier to find the most affordable plans with the best features tailored to your individual needs on Marketplace America. Absolutely. We're going to show it to you a little bit later in the software, but you have a label that says most affordable plan. It's right. that easy. Healthcare.gov doesn't have a feature like that. And better plan detail organization. With Marketplace America, the presentation of the plans is much more straightforward, and that's going to allow you to analyze and visualize the plans to aid in your decision making. Absolutely. Everything's laid out right there for you. With healthcare.gov, you've got to open all these little tabs Absolutely. and go to, through this and jump through hoops, and it's, it's just much more difficult. So, again, that's your intuitive sorting and filtering that the Marketplace America Dot org platform allows an intuitive way to sort and filter your plans, and that's going to help you more easily identify the best plan for you. Absolutely. In other words, all the sorting and filtering right there on the main screen. Mm -hmm. Healthcare.gov, you got to go to a separate screen and apply the filters, and then you got to come back. Right. And you don't, I'm not sure what you're going to get. And comparison of multiple plans, Marketplace America enables you to compare up to five pl plans simultaneously, which provides a more comprehensive view and assists you in making an informed decision. Absolutely. Whereas healthcare.gov, you can only do three. Mm -hmm. So it's again, it's about get, finding the right plan for you and your family in a timely manner. So what is healthcare.gov? Okay, well, healthcare.gov is the U.S. federal government's official health insurance marketplace. And what I like to point out to people, it's a government organization. How yes. many people like working with the IRS directly? Right. So why would you want to work with healthcare.gov directly? That's true. So, I mean, think about that. 
and it does provide comprehensive information on available plans, eligibility criteria, and enrollment procedures. Absolutely. It's very comprehensive when it mm -hmm. goes to that, whereas if you look at Marketplace America, a lot of times we get you right to what you're looking for almost right. instantaneously. However, it's often criticized for being difficult to navigate and time-consuming, especially for those not well-versed in health insurance jargon. Absolutely, and Karen, let's take a moment to plug our health insurance terms yes. video out there because if you haven't seen it, we actually go through all the health insurance terms to help you make a decision when it actually comes to picking a plan or picking a health insurance plan. Exactly. So make sure and look for that video and you can actually uh, get well-versed in that jargon, as they call it. So Karen, now let's talk about Marketplace America. What is it? Uh, it's a consumer-facing online portal that's fully integrated with healthcare.gov. Absolutely. Again, fully integrated, all 50 states. It offers the same plans at the same prices as healthcare.gov, mm -hmm. but it's just so much easier to find what yes, you're looking for and, and to get what you need. And it simplifies the process of shopping for health insurance by offering easy-to-navigate platform, quick, codes, uh, quick quotes, and expedited enrollment. Absolutely. And it also offers personal assistance from licensed agents to help you understand and select suitable plans. That is so important. Absolutely. And the assistance from licensed agents, Karen, that's at no additional cost to you. Right. You're I mean, paying for that even you, if you don't use it. Absolutely. You know? I mean, it's part of selecting a plan. Yeah. Yes. Okay. There is no additional fee. Yeah. Right. I mean, you just pay, you pay your premiums to the health insurance company and that's it. But you get actual help from licensed agents. That's so critical because we know you're going to have questions and you may need assistance. And again, and mm -hmm. let's plug our, our assistance. Yes. If you need help, call us. We'll help walk you through this. That's right. Welcome to MarketplaceAmerica.org. Health Insurance Simplified. As your trusted partner for health insurance, we're proud to be fully integrated with healthcare.gov, offering the same plans at the same prices. What sets us apart is our streamlined process, which gives you access to one-minute quotes and 10-minute enrollments. With us, you gain the advantage of personalized assistance from licensed agents at no additional cost. Our primary aim is to provide you with hassle-free experiences, all while respecting your privacy. And rest assured, we don't ask for any identifiable information until it's time for you to enroll in a plan. Ready to explore your options? Start by clicking on the See Plans and Prices buttons on MarketplaceAmerica.org. You might be surprised to find plans starting from $0 per month. Welcome to MarketplaceAmerica.org, where navigating health insurance becomes an effortless task. So let's click on see our health plans and prices. Absolutely. Let's see how streamlined it is to get you to the fast one minute quote. Yes. Okay. And get you to where you want to do and, and how easy it is for to help you pick the plan that suits your needs. So Karen, we're going to use zip code 29369. If we go back, it's, it's asking for our zip codes. Yes. You, they're all, everything in blue. Who needs health coverage? So in our example, who needs health coverage, Karen? I think it was a 60-year-old female, right. and none of these applied. She didn't have access to other coverage, and we're going to hit continue. Now, how many people were actually in the household? There was two people. We're going to say two people in the household. Absolutely. It says, how many people are in your tax household? So think of your tax return. Mm -hmm. How many people are listed on your tax return? Yes, we have dependents. Include those. And there's going to be two of those. And are any of the, those under age 19? We're going to say no. And now we're going to estimate the household income. Well, the great thing we've got is we've got to actually got an income calculator. And we're going to come right down here, and we're going to say they receive $1,600 a month in Social Security. So we're going to come down here, and that's per month, and we're going to add that in. Okay. And it calculates the total for 12 months. And then we're going to say we had $2,000 per month in retirement. And notice we can do per year, per month, per week, or per project. And we're going to add that in, and wow, it calculates our income. Yes. And we're going to say, okay, that's... In, in, that's an estimate. It's not mm -hmm. actual, it's an estimate. And that's all you need is an estimate. And we're going to put that right there and it carries that amount right over here for us automatically. And we're just going to hit continue. And wow, Karen, wow. what do we got? Uh, they qualify for two kinds of savings. She gets uh, $1,129 savings towards her premium. So that means she could pay as little as 
zero dollars per month. Absolutely. So that's the first kind of savings, mm -hmm. and that's the premium subsidies. What's the next kind, Karen? Uh, that's your cost saving reduction. That gives you your lower premiums, out of pocket maxes, uh, lower deductibles. Absolutely, and those are that's available only on the silver plans, and mm -hmm. it's signified by this gold CSR badge. So look, once we get to the plan, start looking for that. That's but right. But that's your cost sharing reductions. So we're going to hit continue right here, and right now it's currently outside of open enrollment, or in what we call special enrollment. So you have to have a reason you can sign up now, and typically right now most people are lost or losing coverage that are signing up, so we're mm -hmm. going to select that as an option. And then our next question is, do you have any preferred doctors, pharmacies, or hospital? Now, we highly recommend that you actually come here and you put the doctor's first name mm -hmm. and last name, and you get better hits on that, and you put them in there. Um, put two or three up in there, yeah. and that way you'll see them. In the interest of time, we're going to actually skip this step right here. The other thing you may want to do is actually put your prescription drugs in there, mm -hmm. okay? But again, in the interest of time, we're going to skip that right there. And we have a video on step by, a step-by-step -step guide that will show you the best practice on putting in your prescriptions and doctors. Absolutely. And now it says, now's a good time to save your progress. This is the first time we actually ask for any personal identifiable mm -hmm. information, but it's purely optional. You don't have to give it. If you don't want to save your progress, just say click see plans. And wow, Karen, we've already got to our plans. And yeah. Starting out with two zeros. I like that. Absolutely. And notice these tags right here, lowest premium plan. In other words, that's signifying that's a special plan. If we start in our left column here, it shows us our savings, our cost sharing reduction. That's great. We can actually uh, filter based on the premium max we're willing to pay, the maximum deductible we want. We're going to leave those. We can actually come back and add providers and prescriptions here. And estimate usage. You want to look at this. This actually helps you calculate how much the true plan is going to cost you if you right. actually use the plan. Mm -hmm. So you might, it always populates moderate. You might want to. Um, actually switch it to low depending on upon which one suits your needs. Medium, see whatever suits your needs for that particular year. Absolutely. You can filter by carriers and look at just one particular carrier if you want to. Uh, you can filter by metal levels, by networks, and additional filters. You have tons of things that you can filter by right here on the on the home on the home plan page. Um, and then we can sort everything by the CSR available, mm -hmm. lowest deductible, lowest out moop and maximum out-of-pocket that right. is, or in-network providers. There are a lot of functionality here. Now, now one thing I wanted to look at is if we sort differently, one of our badges that will show up will be your most affordable plan. So we're looking for our most affordable plan. Absolutely. So let's go to the filter and change from lowest premium. Let's try the CSR and see if that shows up. And wow, Karen, there it is yes. right on top. So this is a unique badge. This is the most affordable plan. Mm -hmm. And you can actually click on this badge. And it says that you found the most affordable plan for you. Notice this is a silver cost sharing reduction. Mm -hmm. Here's your premium deductible out-of-pocket max. That's great. But we want to see why it's the most affordable plan. If we come down here, we can see that based on expected usage of health care, mm -hmm. here's what you're actually going to end up paying for all these aspects. And here's your premiums, and this your expected out of pocket on this is probably twenty two hundred dollars a month. Okay. Now you've got to determine whether that's the best plan for you or not. Yes. So Karen, we will actually like to actually compare plans. We're going to go back, and we're going to pick this one let's, to compare, and one. then let's go back and sort by lowest premium. And we're going to go ahead and pick, let's say, the first four of these. And let's actually pick one gold one. So let's click filter on gold. And let's go grab a gold plan. Our lowest gold plan. And notice as we clicked on those, it added them mm -hmm. all the way across the bottom. We can click on compare all five plans. And you've got them all here side by side. It's really that easy. Mm -hmm. And you've and you got relevant information. If you like one of these, you can actually um, add it to the cart here. The other thing you've got is you've got different okay. links down here below. You got plan details, summary of benefits, prescription directory, brochure. Karen, what do we like to look at here? Um, I always like to look at the uh, summary of benefits and plan details to make sure everything that you need is covered. Absolutely. That gets into more detail. It's, mm -hmm. it's right there for you. And you've also got your prescription directory. Okay. If we okay. look at plan details, um, 
let's point out that this is vi visually appealing. Okay, mm -hmm. it's got your key elements up here. It's got all these links again. Right. Plus, it gets your doctor visits before deductible and after deductible, telling you what that's going to be: prescription drugs before and after, to, and your different tier levels. Mm -hmm. Um, you got your labs and imaging before yep. and after deductible. Your hospital is all right here. You can look at this plan and keep going. Mental health and substance abuse, pregnancy and birth. Mm -hmm. You got preventative care for basically adults, women, women and, children. and children. And then down here, you got your estimated all in cost, which is the number we were actually right. looking at before. So it's really a comprehensive plan detail, lays everything out for you. If, if you go through that and you like it, all you got to do is add it to your cart, okay, and then you can start your application. That's right. Okay, if you want to keep shopping, you can actually just keep shopping and go through all the other plans. So we want to go back. Our five plans are still down here at the bottom. We can compare them again. It's just fully fi full features, easy to find the plan you're looking for, and it's great. So if you get here if you get this far you get stuck you need mm -hmm. help remember we're here to help you just give us a call that's right and we can, we can get you get you to where you need to be and get you covered now let's talk about your plan options both healthcare.gov and marketplaceamerica.org provide access to the same health insurance plans ensuring that all americans have fair access to coverage options absolutely uh, both Marketplace America is fully integrated, yes. access to all 50 states, same plans, same prices. Can't say it enough, yeah, but that's what you're going to see on Marketplace America. Again, they're priced the same across both platforms, ensuring your cost, consistency, and fairness. Absolutely. And then here's a fact. The, the key difference lies in the way these plans are presented and how the users are assisted in selecting the right plan. Right. Okay. And, and I think once you actually look at both platforms, you're going to see, well, it's a lot easier to, to work on marketplaceamerica.org. Yes. Okay. And again, Marketplace America stands out with this user-friendly interface, which enables your custom consumers to quickly navigate through the options. Absolutely, everybody things right there on all the on the plan page. Mm -hmm. you, you you can actually sort, filter everything from one page. But with healthcare.gov, while comprehensive, it can be overwhelming for a lot of users. Absolutely. You've got to go to a completely different page to actually mm -hmm. filter anything. It's not pointing out the most affordable plan or the lowest right. lowest premiums. Uh, it'll sort some of that stuff, but it's, it's still it's not nearly as intuitive. And where healthcare.gov may require multiple clicks and form entries to get a quote, marketplaceamerica.org simplifies this into quicker, more streamlined process. Absolutely. You simply click on see health plans and prices, mm -hmm. answer a few questions about yourself personally with no personal identifiable yes. a personal identifiable information being requested, and you're at, right there at the plans. Yes. You see your cost savings, you're at the plans. Mm -hmm. It's really that easy. That easy. And there's a quick quoting. Uh, process Marketplace America is going to allow customers to get health insurance quotes in as little as one minute, and that's going to make it quick and easy to explore your options. Wow, as little as one minute, that's Karen. That's right. Hey, let's compare that to healthcare.gov. I don't think it's that fast. I don't. Healthcare.gov takes more time to navigate and fill out unnecessary details for a quote. Absolutely. For example, by asking only essential details and leveraging efficient coding, marketplaceamerica.org can quickly deliver quotes, saving consumers time and hassle. Yes. Okay? So you're, you're, you're actually able to go shop and, yeah. and get to what you want to, to mm -hmm. without having to jump through hoops. So, Karen, let's talk about the quick enrollment. Yeah, marketplace.america.org streamlines the enrollment process. It allows full enrollment in as little as 10 minutes. Absolutely. Full enrollment in as little as 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay? It's full, again, fully integrated with healthcare.gov. Right. It's going to actually pull the information directly from healthcare.gov yes. that healthcare.gov would actually have. And it's going to verify you. It's going to validate your mm -hmm. income and validate your citizenship. It's going to do all that stuff for yes. you. And with healthcare.gov, which due to its comprehensive nature, requires more time-consuming process to get a quote. Absolutely. Or to get enrolled. And, and the, the logical sign-up on is, is not as intuitive. It's and, really And you not. have to jump through different hoops, and you think you're actually going somewhere, and you actually end up somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot more back and forth. Um, MarketplaceAmerica.org uses simplified forms, fewer pages, which accelerates the enrollment process as compared to healthcare.gov. Absolutely. So, Karen, let's talk about plan comparison and filtering. 
So MarketplaceAmerica.org offers tools for comparing and filtering plans according to the user's needs and preferences. And that's just helping them find the right plan for their needs a lot faster right. by, by doing all that. And it's especially uh, valuable for consumers who are uncertain about what they're looking for in a health insurance plan. Absolutely. I, I can tell you, some people when they sit down and start looking at health insurance plans, it's Greek to them. They oh, don't know yeah. what to go do. They don't know how to even start to prioritize mm -hmm. the, all the numbers out there that yes. are getting thrown at them. And it, it's a struggle for a lot of consumers in that. A consumer could filter plans based on cost, coverage, provider network, et cetera, and that helps pe people zero in on the plan that best meets their needs. Absolutely. So Karen, now let's talk about assistance from licensed agents. Well, at MarketplaceAmerica.org, you get personal assistance from licensed agents, and that's at no extra cost. Absolutely. I mean, that's awesome. And yeah. they're, they're, they know the topic. Yes. They can help you. They're helping people every day, so they can actually guide you to the one that's most popular out mm -hmm. there. Neither healthcare.gov nor our actual website can guide you to the most popular one out there. Right. Okay, but our agents can actually help you do that. And this is invaluable for consumers who find the process confusing or have specific questions about their health insurance options. Absolutely. And if the consumer is unsure about the difference between two similar plans, a licensed agent can explain the nuances, helping them make an informed decision. In other words, yes. if you've got somebody that's working in this day in and day out and they know what to look for, they can actually point that out to you. Yes, absolutely. Karen, in conclusion, what do we have? Well, when you're choosing between healthcare.gov and marketplaceamerica.org, it's going to depend largely on what you value the most. Absolutely. The extra support, access to a licensed agent, and user-friendly interface offered by marketplaceamerica.org at making an attractive choice makes it an attractive choice for those seeking a less daunting experience. <laughs> That's true. Time saving. And remember, all of these features come at no cost to you. I tell people you're paying for an insurance agent if you have whether you've got one or not. You've got you're one paying or not. for it. Yes, Absolutely. That's just part of it. So make sure and use that as a resource. So, and here's a fact: in 2022, an estimated 65% of Americans compared plans online before enrolling in health insurance, highlighting the importance of a seamless digital experience. That's right. Um, if, if you're out there and you're actually comparing plans, you need help. Give us a call. We help you in all 50 states. That's right. Well, that's a wrap for today. I hope you found our discussion to be enlightening and valuable. Yes, thank you for spending time with us today. We strive to make health insurance easier to understand and navigate, and we hope we've done just that for you. If you have any questions or if there's a topic that you'd like for us to cover in the future, please leave it in the comments down below. We're here to help. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell so you won't miss out on our future videos. Remember, at Marketplace America, we're not just providing health insurance, we're providing peace of mind. And if you are breathing and not covered by health insurance, stop procrastinating. Sign up for a health plan today. Until next time, stay healthy and informed.